Hey guys, we're back. Welcome to stage three. Today we're going to be draining and replacing the coolant in the VFR. And this is, can be a messy job, and I'll show you some of the things, the points that we're going to be talking about here. First of all, what you want to do is come around here to this side, and this is your radiator cap right there. You want to take that guy right off there, find a good place to put it, and uh, put it down somewhere. Okay, now the reason you're taking the radiator cap off isn't so much that you're going to be actually pulling fluid out of here, but it's all about air displacement. Because once you start draining this thing, if you don't have this cap off, you'll create a vacuum and, well, the, the liquid just won't pour freely from the bike. So you want to take that guy off. Personally, I like to take an old piece of t-shirt that's clean and stuff and just lay it over the cap like so. Um, not really stuff it down in there, just kind of lightly lay it over and that keeps any kind of crud or bugs or anything or anything that might be flying around your garage from, from going into your radiator, but it still uh, lets the air through. So just a little tip from me to you. This guy right here, this is our water pump. We have an in hose and we have an out hose. There are five bolts. The, the four that run the perimeter, those are what actually hold the water pump to the bike. And then this unique fella right there, that's our drain plug. And it's put there for a reason because as you can see here, we've got piping, we've got radiators, and then cylinder heads, and all kinds of crazy stuff. And that is located pretty much at the lowest point of gravity uh, for any coolant system. So that's a really logical place to, to put the drain plug. Now what you have to remember inside a liquid-cooled engine, the cylinder block itself has various channels that circulate throughout the block that pull and dissipate the heat off of your engine. So we'll go underneath here. And I'll show you what we have to do to drain the cylinder block. You, you can't really make it out all that well, unfortunately. That line right there is the power line that goes to your starter. But if I pull the camera up right there, you see that guy right there in the center of it and it's kind of rusty. That bolt, that's our um, cylinder drainage bolt. So that'll help us actually drain every bit of fluid out of this motorcycle. The thing you have to remember about ethylene glycol, which is the main ingredient in antifreeze, is it's extremely toxic. And unfortunately, it has a very sweet taste. I don't know if you've ever opened a radiator under pressure and maybe got a little spray in your mouth, but I have before, and it does have a, a very sweet taste to it. It tastes kind of a, like syrup, like maple syrup or, or honey. So if you have kids, or pets around the house, you definitely want to make sure you limit the amount you spill this stuff in. And if you do spill it, make sure you have an ample supply of shop towels and maybe some degreaser to get it all cleaned up. And most importantly, you want to make sure you put it in a container that is clearly labeled antifreeze. What this is good for is you have a party, right? You have a party and you invite everybody you hate over to your party. And then you walk around the party and you go, hey guys, you want a pickle? So, so we've got the cylinder drain, and this is our overflow, our reservoir, and it takes one bolt that goes right about there. You can't really see it because of the cap. And then basically you just pull it off and then you drain it like you're draining a, a milk jug. One thing I like to do, because if you can look inside there, a lot of crud and stuff just kind of buries itself inside there. So I like to just take some clean water and pour it down and clean it out a little bit. As you can see, I made the exact mess that I told you guys not to make. The VFR may be old, but if you don't watch it, it'll get you right in the eye. It's got a strong prostate. All right guys, we're bolted back up. Everything's been drained. I have no coolant left in the motorcycle. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to put coolant in because it's pretty darn simple. Basically you mix your antifreeze with uh, usually about a half and half with um, distilled water during the summertime. And um, then you basically will burp the bike a couple times to get the air bubbles out. But other than that, it's really, really simple. I thought it would be just kind of fun to make this video. And secondly, I'm freaking starving to death. So I'm going to go inside and make, make some dinner. So until later, guys. You guys want some pickles?